besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video we're going to be talking about mainly Rylan Adams and his love and borderline obsession with Jeffree Star. Now, this is stemming from Trisha Paytas coming forward with an issue with this exact point that I'm going to be showing you in this video. This clip that is just going around that has Trisha very angry. Now the reason this has her very angry and the reason I want to look a little bit further into it is because she said that, you know, the behavior that we've talked about on this channel in detail and in length of, you know, Jeffrey bullying and harassing Trisha Paytas, she said that, you know, she came to Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams with this information last year before that when stuff happened and even up until recently before she cut them out of her life. She said that she presented them with all this information and it's a slap in the face when not only they invite Jeffrey on the podcast and they have him on the podcast and keep in mind so Jeffrey was on their podcast Rylan's podcast and Shane was promoting it on his Instagram story and saying I love this I love Jeffrey Jeffrey's my favorite Jeffrey's iconic so that's one little thing right the next thing that Trisha has a big issue with which we're going to be focusing on in this video is whenever the Kanye West drama was happening which is just so wild looking back on that now obviously in the moment it was wild and looking back well, so we're basically in the Kanye drama where Kanye West is allegedly together with Jeffree Star. Jeffree was loving this, as we said, because it was free promotion for him, but almost good promotion. People weren't talking about any problematic stuff he'd done. He was trending number one worldwide, and the reason he was trending was for something that wasn't for his bad behavior, and it was just kind of fun, lighthearted drama that people were loving. Now, Rylan did something that really pissed me off in the moment and there's a lot of things with Rylan that really just rubbed me the wrong way. However, on this podcast episode, they basically had the title about the Kanye West thing, which is okay, you know, use it to get views. I get it. Coming from a drama channel, I get it and I get the hustle. Whatever. The thing was though, they got like a voice memo from Jeffrey talking about the Kanye situation and just the way Ryland and his co-host, whatever she's called, are gushing over Jeffree Star. It's like, it's really weird to me for multiple reasons, but it's like, these are allegedly Jeffree's best friends. You know what I mean? Not the co-host, but Ryland. Like Ryland is the best friend of Jeffree. You know, Shane is the best friend and family of Jeffree. And so it doesn't make any sense to me why Ryland looks at Jeffree like a god. And now this is what Trisha's saying. Trisha's like, I don't understand why after I've told them all this information, not only do they have him on the podcast, but whenever he comes on again, even recently as, you know, last week with the Kanye stuff, they're like, I love Jeffrey. Like, thank you, Jeffrey, for giving us the time of day, like kissing Jeffrey's feet and just gushing over him in the weirdest way. And so it just, before I show you this clip, makes me wonder, like, what is Ryland's, like, relationship with Jeffrey? Is it a friendship? Is it a parasocial relationship? Is it like, you know, he's the fan of Jeffrey? Is it that they're really close, but he's still the fan of Jeffrey? It's like, it's so wild to me. And obviously, Trisha coming forward and saying this is such a huge slap in the face to her because they're not only, you know, inviting him on, but also like idolizing him and making him, you know, the superior being or whatever and being like, we love him so much, whatever. It kind of puts him on a higher standard and Trisha's saying, why the fuck are you doing that if we're best friends, you know, alleged?" Girl, the voodoo of Jeffrey just tried to cu cut out my voice. <laughs> Allegedly, we're best friends. So why are you, you know, promoting someone and acting like, you know, they're this holy person whenever they're so bad to me, your best friend? And now, again, it just makes me, like, wonder what Ryland thinks of Jeffrey and why there is this, you know, like, go... <coughs> God Almighty, you know, with Jeffrey. So I'm going to show you this clip now from Ryland's podcast. Whenever Jeffrey basically like called into the podcast to discuss the Kanye thing, and just pay very close attention to how they like react whenever they're talking about Jeffrey and how they just love him. But like, it's it's I love my friends. But I would never be like, okay, here's a clip from my friend. And it's like, oh my god, I can't believe, you know, like, she gave me this clip. Like, this is so exciting. Like, I'd be like, she gave me this clip. I love her. It's, it's really, it's a bit weird. So here we go. Here's the clip. Island and Lizzie. My name. And y'all, it's Jeffree Star. And I just First to of all, that. just in that, I'm not going to stop us a lot. I probably am. And I apologize. Like, this is really weird. I know this is on the co-host. So Lizzie is her name. Apologies. I know, I know. And they're ba like, oh my god, he said my name! 
I know she's a bit like external to this, but I get Jeffrey's been on the show or whatever, and I, I, it's still like so he said my name like it's Jeffrey Star, you know what I mean? And so Trisha is basically saying that Shane promoted this clip, like this section of the podcast, only the section Jeffrey calling in on his story last week and said like, oh my god, I can't believe he called in or whatever. And Trisha again, I feel really bad for her in this situation because she's seeing the people that you know she trusts and loves the most or loved the most before she cut them out of her life, you know, like just praise and look at this person like a god on so okay sorry not to we'll get into it island and lizzie Hi, hey y'all it's jeffrey Weird. star and i just wanted to say hello happy 2021 to the sip <laughs> now i already know that 2020 was one of the worst and best years of my life maybe yours <laughs> um but i didn't know that i was going to start the new year off with an affair that i never had <laughs> now usually when the whole world is calling you a home record also you Jeffree Star is not this funny. Let's dial it down, babes. Both of these. Let's dial it down. There, that like, I never had. <laughs> now, usually when the whole world it's is just a bit weird. a home wrecker, you uh, at least can go to sleep at night saying, well, at least I got that dick, girl. <laughs> I got nothing. No dick. No nothing. <laughs> but for some reason, uh, in over 200 countries, uh, the headline, Jeffree Star slept with Kanye hit. Now, you know I love a good free publicity moment, so thank you, Lord. Um, but the whole thing has been hysterical, <laughs> and it's been harmless, so at least there's that on my end. I know. It's okay, so, first of all, before we continue, this is the big issue that Trish is making as well. It's like, everything Jeffrey says is either so funny or so sad or so, it's, a, it's like, Anything Jeffrey does brings out a, a big emotion in these people, and it's like, why? Because he's not a great person. This is from Trisha, but we already know this. And it's like, again, I feel like her, you know, discomfort and being annoyed at this, because it is like, you know, and we'll go on where they're like praising him for Liddy doing nothing. Well, at least they're bad on my end. I know if they're actually going through a divorce, someone trying to use me as the tool or the catalyst, it's fucking awful. So I don't support that at all, but it's funny. The world's in such a weird island and Lizzie place. Let's have a laugh. And if it's a Jeffree Star's expense, bitch, let's do it. I love you, Jeffrey. I love him so much. And I will say it was a much needed... Uh, <laughs> little... If you're being called a homework, are you getting that dick? Like... <sighs> okay. I can 100% see where Trish is coming from here. And now keep in mind that that's how they're acting on the podcast, but that is the specific clip that Shane is promoting on his Instagram story. You know, during his break... That's the specific clip. So, of course, this is a huge slap in the face to Trisha and probably one of the lead reasons that she did end up speaking out against them and blocking them because, you know, if they're gonna... Like, put yourself in Trisha's situation. Your best friends, the ones that you would, you know, go to war for, are promoting the person who harassed you and bullied you, allegedly, and just anything they say is so funny or so, you know... It, uh, we love you. It's like... if. Uh, do you act like this with your best friends? This is just what I'm trying to get through. Like, even with my best friends, I'm just not like, Oh my god, I love you. Thank you for giving me the time of day. You're everything. Let me, like, suck your fucking feet. Let me suck your hands. You know, it's like, like, praising them. It's, it's weird. It was a much needed, uh, little... <laughs> if you're being called a homework, are you getting that dick? Like, amen, sister? Like, god damn. Like, Jeffrey is not like, this funny. I didn't even mention how sad it is Please. if they actually are getting a divorce because oh, right. they have These so are many with children. Feelings. Yeah, it's like, a fucking family. It is crazy, and that's what you tend to forget when, like, something's fun and gossipy when you're yeah. looking at Twitter is there's real people behind these stories. And right. Kim, even if they don't get a divorce, the woman's probably hurting. I mean, it would be very hard. I'm. It would be so hard to be Kim Kardashian in that 30 fucking million dollar mansion. Hi, but ironic. Honestly, Hi, ironic, Ryland. Where he's saying, you know, how hard it would be to be Kim in that, you know, $30 million fucking mansion. Isn't that what you and Shane did? You and Shane basically pushed this narrative that you guys were purr or whatever, and then you didn't, you know, properly talk about the fact that you said already allegedly paid off your, like, multi-million dollar mansion house, but you were like, we're purr, can you buy our merchandise? Can you buy our palette? I get that it was a joke about Kim, but... You're also guilty of the same thing, you and your fiance. Divorce. The woman's probably hurting. I mean, it would be very hard. I'm. Like, it'd be so hard to be Kim Kardashian in that thirty fucking million dollar mansion. Ironic. But honestly, I do feel for her. Place. Let's have a laugh. Okay. So 
I'm not gonna show, cause there's multiple clips of Trisha talking about why that particular moment pissed her off so much. Just because recently I've been showing so many clips of Trisha and we'll just literally talk about what she said now. So her saying that that is such a slap in the face and why are they idolizing him so much and why is he so funny to them and why is he so amazing to them? It's just so weird. And keep in mind, this is what they're pushing on their platforms. So this is Trisha's best friend pushing this on their platforms. And again, I, I feel really bad for her. I mean, just recently there's been so much and so losing her best friends and her best friends going against her in this way. Again, it's, and, and even what Jeffrey was saying wasn't funny. And we were laughing at the Kanye jokes on our channel. But even still, we weren't like going this like, <laughs> oh, shitty, shitty, shitty. Like it was never this. And she's like, we love you, Jeffrey. Like we, I like, it, it's not, it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's, mm, let's not. So again, I feel really bad for Trisha in this retrospect and I want to know what your opinion is. What do you think Rylan's relationship with Jeffrey is like? Obviously he's probably not as close with Jeffrey as you know Shane is with Jeffrey but you know Shane and Rylan talk they're like literally like about to be married so like surely they talk about Jeffrey and it's not all like roses and fucking you know petals or whatever and it's like why is there still like maybe it's just for publicity maybe it is for oh my god we still love him you know what I mean like getting clicks from Jeffrey's name or whatever. Again coming from me I mean hey I'm in the same hustle but I mean I don't know, I just, I don't know what their dynamic is as, like, friends. And does Shane always act like this? Remember with Jeffrey? I love Jeffrey. Like, oh my god, Jeffrey, give me the time of day. But, like, Ryland's still acting like this? And surely they don't act like this off camera. Because that's, like, a really weird, like, Jeffrey holding power over them. You know what I mean? If you, like, look into it. There's so many different, like, what do you think, Bestie? Their, like, relationship dynamic is that they're still, like, fangirling over Jeffrey. I want to know like what what your take on it or what your angle or why you think they do this or do you think it's put on? Do you think it is for publicity? Do you think it's to make something out of nothing? Do you think they were being extra on camera or like just do you think this is how they act? I want to know what you're thinking. We'll talk about it below. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into the two below and I never use that word tea but you know what? I'm feeling like it today besties. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay well and let's talk about it below. Bye.